Okay, folks, today we're testing this 1968 to 1972 Ford truck factory AM FM stereo radio. This radio is beautiful. You'll see more in the pictures. The uh, model number looks to be DO, and then I see no letters, blank, blank, 19A241. So it looks like there was originally a, a decal that uh, designated those two numbers. The model number is 1FBT. P P A C. Anyway, beautiful radio. You'll see more in the uh, the pictures, but the connectors are still intact. Everything's here. Um, it's got looks like a replacement little bracket hanger on the back here. Um, these truck radios are really unique. They're very similar to the early like Torino Fairlane Ranchero radio, but the power comes off the top. The antennas on the side. Very unique radio. Um, this one cosmetically is amazing. Um, the inner and outer knobs are here in good shape as you can see. The face is super clean. You'll see the slide bar has awesome chrome. The lens is super nice. Push buttons are all nice. The chrome around the edge is really clean. So a really nice radio. I'm going to show you it works. Um, I tested it when I first got it in and uh, it worked really well on AM and FM on both channels and uh, then I cleaned it all off kind of hit, hit the face with some steel wool and Windex and things and when I went to test it a minute ago it seems like it has solid uh, sound on one channel and the other channel is quiet and really kind of uh, muffled so I imagine it should be serviced as probably something really silly like a bad connection or something uh, maybe a, a wire going through like this crimp or something is is pinched or whatever it might be But it's always a good idea to have a radio service before you install it in the car anyway I mean we're dealing with uh, 50 year old electronics here, so uh, Plan on having it serviced, but it does work really well on AM and FM as far as uh, Getting a signal and playing out of that one channel is is awesome. So anyway, we'll start on AM here um, We'll start at the end of the dial before we start, I should tell you my AM reception is pretty weak from about the center of the dial down. That's not the fault of the radio, but uh, where I live, I live deep in a valley here, and the reception just doesn't come through. So anyway, keep that in mind. We have it hooked up to a 12-volt battery, uh, the correct 8-ohm speaker, and an antenna. Well, actually, not an antenna. It's just a wire, so the reception will be better uh, in an actual car. So we're on the strong channel now. You'll hear some stations coming in down low here, but... Now, tuning in, that's not satire when I said that they want to blow up the police station. It's not satire. La bendición, por supuesto, también está presente. No se pierda este tiempo. TV stations and all that favored players or teams and favored health and safety. They don't want her to know about her options and the... Not able to post anything on Twitter, and we don't. And I was going, wow, this actually anyway, works. Real nice. Then... Okay, we're going to switch over to FM. There's a little light here on the edge of the dial. That's the FM stereo indicator. So you'll see that flashing on and off. That tells you when a strong stereo signal is tuned in. Uh, so here we go. We'll start from the end of the dial so you can see the light on there. Anyway, real nice reception. Let me show you the other channel here since uh, we're in a stereo spot. Bear with me. So here's the connector. We have uh, the speaker positive on this side. We have a speaker positive on the other side. And in the center is a speaker ground. So I'm going to take it off of this one, put it on this one. And hopefully you can hear yeah, the speaker here. So there is sound, but it's just real quiet, and uh, and it's just not coming in like there's a bad connection somewhere. So anyway, it does play on the other uh, channel. Negative about you. Do you read well, this You can crap? see how loud it was on the other channel. I am like a dog. Get 
it had more of an, an anchor in the north. Anyway, real nice. Show you all the push buttons work here. Back up, man. Download. Finally, I'll show you how to set a push button. Let's say we like this channel. Pull out on the push button. Push it back in. No matter where we go, we can go right back to where we were. So I imagine if you wanted to use this as a single channel radio, you could. If you're looking to run two like dual speakers, then uh, you're going to want to get the radio service before you install it. Again, it would be a good idea to service it anyway. It doesn't cost a whole lot, and then you'll know all the capacitors and all the different transistors and stuff are top top notch, ready to go. So once you get it in the dash, you don't have to worry about taking it out again. Don't miss it, guys. This is a really nice and hard to find radio.